All right, we'll start things off with Harrison Wind. Hey, Michael. Um, I know we've been talking about third quarters a lot, but they else got they outscored you guys 34-26 in the third tonight. Is that where you feel like you kind of lost hold of this one? Uh, I think oh, the second half in general, Harrison. Uh, you know, we gave up 64 points in the second half. They shot 55% from the field, 58 from three, seven of 12 uh, from the three-point line in the second half. Obviously, we struggled to score, uh, make shots, finish. Only nine assists and six turnovers in the second half. So, um, yeah, we, we, we still find ourselves trying to figure out how to be a team that plays a lot better in the second half. Um, we've lost three in a row because we haven't defended anybody. There's a reason you go 11 and four over a 15 game span. Well, the reason was we had a top eight defense and LA, Sacramento, and now Milwaukee, uh, that hasn't been the case. And pretty simple to understand. That's why you lose games. Next we we'll go to Kyle Fredrickson. Hey, Michael, uh, Jamal Murray returns to the starting lineup today. Uh, is he 100% healthy? And then just how did he look to you? Well, I mean, he was 4 of 17, Kyle. He was 1 of 7, so obviously he struggled to make shots. Um, and no one's 100% right now. Next, we'll go to Ryan Blackburn. Coach, I know you don't want to use the injuries as an excuse, but how much has that really impacted the team over these past few weeks? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's reality, right, uh, Ryan? I mean, we've always been a no-excuse team, but the reality is when you have Gary Harris out, P.J. Dozier out, uh, you know, guys that are probably two of our better perimeter defenders, that, that definitely takes a hit on your defense. Obviously, Chris Middleton had his way with us tonight, sports you know, just too easily. So, yes, yeah, so it would be nice to have Gary. It would be nice to have P.J. Uh, Faku wanted to try and play tonight. I just didn't think he was ready personally, so stayed away from trying to get him in the game. But even if they're not available, you know, we just can't have three games in a row where we don't defend anybody. Uh, I mean, 123 points, 50 from the field, 40 from three, uh, and they have rebounded us by 12. And that usually is a pretty good indicator of uh, our engagement and our physicality is when we rebound the ball. Uh, so. Hopefully we can get Gary back. Hopefully we can get PJ back. But if we're going to wait to get them back before we start defending, well, this losing streak is only going to continue. Next, we'll go to Katie Wingy. Coach, how tough is it with your guys' schedule right now and defense being kind of the underlying issue why you've lost three in a row? How tough is it to not have practice time? How do you get your defense back on track knowing that it's every other day basketball? Yeah, the, the schedule, Katie, to your point, um, definitely makes it harder. Um, you know, we we had shoot around this morning. And I think, as I mentioned, pregame, uh, this, when we played the Lakers on Thursday, that began a run from Thursday in L.A. all the way through All-Star break, where we're playing every other day, unless there's a back-to-back -back sandwich in between there. Um, so we'll have, we're going to have to find time, whether it's practicing, uh, whether it's shooting around, film sessions, to to watch it. And we do that a lot already. And obviously, I'm not doing a good enough job because it's <laughs> the message isn't being uh, delivered. It's not being understood for whatever reason. Um, obviously, we struggled to make a lot of shots tonight. That impacted us as, as well. But, you know, if your defense is a constant and your anchor, you know, you can weather those nights where you don't make shots. And, uh, and that wasn't the case tonight, unfortunately. All right, Coach, we got time for one more. We'll go to end with Joel Rush. Hey, Coach, uh, kind of circling back to the health issues, uh, Will Barton had what seemed like one of the best first halves or any halves of his season so far. And do you think he's kind of rounding into form? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're 23 games in, so I, I hope so. Um, you know, he, he had a – offensively, he had a good night. You know, um, you know he was 9-16 of 16 from the field, made three threes. You know, unfortunately, his plus minus wasn't where it needs to be. Uh, and obviously that number is not just on an individual. That's uh, with reflective of the group you're on the floor with at that time. But, you know, um, yeah, I think Will's playing engaged basketball. He's looking to be aggressive. Uh, he's finishing at the basket a lot better than he was early in the year. And I think those are all byproducts of him 
feeling healthier uh, and, and feeling like he's getting some of that explosiveness back. Thanks, Coach. I right, appreciate it.